it's the holidays. Christmas time is in the air. Whenever you're gathering around with your family and friends and you're visiting and having a good time, I can promise you one thing that's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of eating going on. So that's why today I'm making deviled eggs. First, boil you some eggs. You know the drill. Peel them eggs, slice them in half, get all the yolk out. Only thing is, today I'm doing these deviled eggs with a little twist. Let me show you. So when I said I was doing these deviled eggs with a twist, I really meant it. I'm making my Mexican Fiesta dip right here. I'm following the directions on the bag. It's easy. Instead of taking my yolk and putting the mayonnaise and mustard in my yolk, I'm mixing all this up, this dip, my Mexican Fiesta dip. And I'm going to put some of this in with my yolks and mix it up. And that is going on them eggs. You know I got to try different things. Everything got to taste a little different sometimes. So I won't put all of it. I'm just going to put enough that I'll need to mix it up. And yes, I'm not going to waste a dip. I'm going to take that to Christmas too. Not measuring. Y'all know. And this is the first time I did it. So I'm just going to go with the flow. It's time to fill those deviled eggs. Yes, I have a deviled egg maker, but I'm not using that today because the corn. Make yourself a big enough hole at the bottom of the Ziploc bag so the corn can come out soon. And start filling. After you fill your eggs up, add a little bit of my Mexican Fiesta seasoning on top. That's only if you want to. I'm doing it. It garnishes it and it's pretty. Gives it a little extra flavor as well. Top it with some onion tops. And mange Mmm. 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 Ça c'est beaucoup bon, yeah.